have some energy. Are you guys ready to have a good time? Let them know. Yeah. Excellent. Now, this first act I'd like to bring to the stage, he and I have worked together several times, and I'm so excited always when he takes the class. It's such a thrill. You guys are going to love him, too. How about a big round of applause for Cliff Hornsby? Let him know. Cliff. Not bad, not bad shoes, are they? Well, is this on? Yeah, I guess it is. He was talking to it. Uh, not everybody will have to be pulled up on the stage. It's just me. One special request of the audience, please do not make a silver alert call for me. I left a note at the nursing home on my bed to tell them I'd be late. <laughs> they put me up here first because the last time they put me on last and I fell asleep. <laughs> and to be truthful so you know what I'm doing, sometimes I walk out here and forget what I'm doing like if I walk in the kitchen. So I used a senior trick. I stuck it to my arm. <laughs> I'm 83 years old, and I started a comedy career. I know I don't have a long-term career going for me, but if you want to know why I did that, I wanted to improve my social activity. Currently, it's only doctors. <laughs> and they only laugh when I take my clothes off. I've had three of these classes here at McCurdy's, and I'm not bragging, but I'm now a professional. <laughs> I got paid $25 to entertain somebody the other day. <laughs> I only need 40 more gigs to pay off my student loan. <laughs> One quick question. Scotty, the professor, am I getting paid no. tonight? No. no. I need 41. I want you to know when you're a professional, you need a professional name. And I have selected geriatric. I think it fits so well. See, I did have to look down here. Oh, every comedian wants to go out with a bang. And of course, mine's a short-term trip. And probably my last outing will be at a funeral home. Oh no, don't worry, I've had a great trip. But I've asked my best friend to take my telephone, my cell phone to the funeral. When everybody gets there, he's to text them for me saying, thanks for coming. <laughs> Sorry. I like to thank my doctors for keeping me upright. Not that I always do what they want me to do but they suggested acupuncture the other day. I tried it, it worked, it felt good. I called to make another appointment, the acupuncturist said, Cliff, you can't come back. I said, why, it helped me. He said, well, your blood's old, you rusted all my needles. <laughs> I joined the Navy when I was 16. I was young. When I was in the Navy, lady sailors were called waves. And the brochure that tricked me said, join the Navy and ride the waves. <laughs> well, it was a deceptive brochure, I can tell you that much. I had to look one more time, I'm so sorry. I hate deceptive signs, and there's a couple of them here. I also hate Alexa. There's a deceptive sign up on I-75 that says BJ's. I bought a membership before I ever knew what they were selling. <laughs> I was in Nokomis the other day, and there's a sign that said women's consignment. I tried to drop my wife off, and they wouldn't take her. <laughs> I hate Alexa. I understand she's a little Karen, and I apologize to the next person coming up here named Karen. But four weeks ago, I didn't know what a Karen was. But Alexa will wake you up anytime, day or night. She woke me up the other day at 2 o'clock in the morning. She said, Cliff, I have to ask you a question. I said, well, now I'm awake, go ahead. She said, do you know what a completely sexually satisfied woman says after sex? I said, no. She said, that's what I thought. 
or most men would say, who care? Who cares? Then mine. You know, we had a Chinese spy balloon go across the country recently, and everybody was all upset with that. Well, the government and the press got together to calm our nerves, and they sent out a headline. The spy balloon that flew over Washington, D.C. could find no intelligence. <laughs> I met a transgender man the other day, just by accident, he was crying. I said, what's wrong? He said, I wish I had not done this. I said, but you've gone through it. You should be happy. He said, I'm okay with some things, but you should see the restroom line I have to stand in now. <laughs> Everybody's had a COVID experience. Mine was at Publix on Longboat. Publix used to put down arrows everywhere up and down their rows. And you're supposed to follow them so we wouldn't breathe on each other. Well, I went the wrong way. And a little lady yelled at me, Mister, don't you see those arrows? I said, hell, lady, I don't even see the Indians. <laughs> I rode a scat bus the other day. That's Sarasota County Area Transit. Haven't ridden a bus in a long time. I saw a bus driver treat a passenger absolutely wrong. He stopped and picked the lady up. She got on the bus. She sat down to the right of him. He took off. I think she couldn't hear or speak because they looked like they were doing some sign language. He turned around and looked at her, and she took her arm and did this. He did this. <laughs> she did this. He did this. She jumped up and did this. She got off the bus. I said, mister, that was absolutely rude. I'm going to report you to management. He said, oh, no, please don't do that. He said, we're friends. She rides my bus all the time. We were just having a conversation. I said, well, what did she say? She said, are you a local bus? I said, no, I'll go straight through. She said, are you going to the dairy? I said, no, I'm going to the ballpark. And she said, oh, shit, I'm on the wrong bus. <laughs> <laughs>